I was called to program this ABA, used ABS unit for Ford. And I really love to, uh, Ford scan. So you can see the Ford code. So because it's a used unit, what I'll do first is I have to change the VIN in the ABS unit. So I'll select the system and go to as build. The has build, then press the play button to enter into the has build data of the uh, ABS unit. So with this one, what I'll do first is I'll save the file in case there is any mistake. I can restore the a used ABS to the card uh, to the donated card. So I'll save the file name and save the as build data for that for the old unit. Then I'll go to load factory restore. So with Foscan, what they've done is the moment you click on that button, it downloads the as build data from the fourth server. Then you go to write and write the file. So after writing it, now the VIN mismatch or vehicle not configured, all those things will go off. Then you proceed to the next step. So with this one, I'll cycle I'll cycle the ignition on and off. Then I'll go and erase the fourth code and check the fourth code that will be present. So you can see now I have not uh, end the section, the as-built section. So I'll end it and go back to the DTC. Then erase all the fourth code in the system. Then I'll see the remaining one in the ABS. So with this one, all the other fourth code, I'm not dealing with it. I'm dealing with only the ABS, the fourth code with the ABS, in the ABS unit. So after cycling the ignition, I'll click on OK. Then I'll wait for the system to rescan again. Then I'll continue from the rest of the fourth code left. So with the U with the U thousand central configuration, I'll go to the same place, then select the top one, central configuration. So click on the play button and I'll allow the software to do its work so that the vehicle will be uh, will be configured. So after the vehicle has been configured, I'll cycle the ignition again, then turn it on. Wait for it to tell me it is successfully done. Then I'll go and scan, I'll go and scan the DTC again. I really like the way first scan works. It makes uh, writing as build data very cheap, very easy, and faster. So with this one, I'll cycle the ignition again and wait for the system to tell me it is successful now it is successful so i'll close the section then i'll go back to dtc erase all my dtc and see the remaining one in the abs so as i've gotten to this point now i think the remaining one will be the longitudinal acceleration calibration which i need to which needs to be done so after i cycle the ignition again i'll click on ok to see the DTC that will appear. So now it's left with only two DTC in the ABS unit. For the rest, I'm not dealing with it. I was only called for the ABS. So I'll go to the service and click on calibration of the longitudinal sensor. Then press OK, turn off the ignition and follow the prompt that the software will give you. So turn the ignition back on, then wait for the software to finish the calibration. Then you know what to do because I really love the way the first scan helps me. It it makes my programming easier when it comes to used parts for Ford, mostly ABS. It it makes it easier. And you know, anytime I want to write anything on the, uh, anytime I want to write any as built data onto a used unit, I use first scan. But it, uh, most of the time. PCMs are not added, but for BCM, ABS, instrumental panel, those things, you can easily do it, depending on the vehicle. But I will later post a video on incompatibility issue. When you see incompatibility issue with your ABS unit, don't worry yourself programming it because it will not work. So we'll go to DTC, erase all the fourth, uh, erase all the fourth code again, then cycle the ignition again and see the remaining fourth code that will be in the abs as at now because i'm done with all the calibration there shouldn't be any fault in the abs unit again and you can see the abs unit 
is posting none. That means there is no fault in it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.